Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I pre-released iOS 26 developer beta 3 that I have here on my 16 Pro Max to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's start with the update size and the build number. On my 16 Pro Max, the update size is 6.65 gigabytes and the build number is 23A5287G. And now let's take a look at the new features. The most notable change in this update is the lower transparency of Apple's liquid glass. So let me show you some examples. Here is a screenshot from beta 2 from the app store. And as you see, the colors of the background are more visible than what I see in beta 3. There is a notable difference which makes things easier to read. Moving to the control center and you will see some visual tweaks as well. Look at the color used for the wireless controls. It was a dark blue color, but now it's a light blue which looks better in my opinion. Also, the transparency for some tiles is now lower when compared to beta 2 when you compare between the focus style in beta 2 and beta 3 things are now more readable in the notification center the difference is very minor here is beta 2 and this is beta 3 the background is slightly darker in beta 3 which makes things more readable but it's hard to notice and both are pretty much the same but there is certainly a big difference in the spotlight search in beta 2 i can barely read the text because the search bar is very light but in beta 3 it's much darker which makes things easier to read one final example to show you is in apple photos take a look at the select button and the navigation bar at the bottom in beta 2 things are brighter but now the background is darker you see a big difference here in the select button and also the navigation bar at the bottom is darker so that's it when it comes to liquid glass now let's talk about some of the new features i spotted while using the phone the first one is related to the wallpapers when you try to add a new one and then scroll down to the ios category you will see more options that didn't exist before so now when you open the ios wallpaper you can swipe left and right to choose between multiple options the first one is called shadow then we have a sky halo and dusk i also spotted a small tweak in the spotlight search this is a screenshot from beta 2 and i don't have the video call button but now when i search for the same contact i do have the option i also think that apple updated the clock animation so please let me know in the comments if you think the same so let me show you what happens when the minutes change and here is one more time the animations also feel smoother when you swipe up to expand the notifications when compared to beta 2. Moving to the home screen, after installing this build, I think the light reflections that take place when you tilt the phone are more visible when compared to beta 2. Even when I switch to the default app icons, I can see them better with this new build, especially when you look at the dock. I think this light reflection is much more prominent. So that's it when it comes to the home screen. Now let's talk about the new changes in Apple Maps, starting with the information card. You'll notice here that the distance is now visible under the quick action buttons, plus everything is now centered instead of being left aligned. And the directions button now shows the estimated navigation time. And when you scroll all the way down in the information card, you will see that the hours and details are now two separate sections. Instead of being merged under one section called details like in beta 2, plus now you can immediately see today's hours. But if you want to know more, you need to expand this section. Also, everything is now aligned in a different way to save space and make things more compact and when you start the navigation you will see a redesigned directions card at the top plus the handle is now showing at the bottom instead of being in the middle also when you expand the card at the bottom the information you see right here remain visible but in beta 2 when you do this action the information disappears so you can still see everything in this area plus the banner that shows the phone number is now smaller and the glyph icons got updated. Moving to Safari, you will see some design tweaks when you go to the bookmarks page. 
First, the ellipses at the top are no longer outlined and bigger. Also, the glyph icons next to the folders are smaller and surrounded with rectangular containers. Moving to the mail app, there are some design tweaks as well. First, the colors of the categories are different from beta 2. And also, you can see the name of the category under the word inbox when you switch between them next to the last update time. In the App Store, Apple added a new accessibility section under the app listing. So when you scroll down a bit, you will see accessibility, which will list any accessibility features available in this app. And when you play a game on your iPhone with any of the supported controllers, now you can access the game overlay by just pressing the home button on the controller itself. And under the release notes, when you move to the journaling suggestions section, you will see three new additions. The first one is the journaling suggestions on iPhone now sync over iCloud securely to iPads. Then we have the smart notifications to let users know when it's the best time to journal based on their routine and location. And then we have the suggestions have been revamped to show scene classification and interferences such as holidays and celebrations, new groupings based on patterns, and more. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video, they are now available for sale on my Patreon page, and I'm gonna leave its link in the description below so you can enjoy them. And now let's get back to the new features of iOS 26 beta 3. So that's it when it comes to the new features. Now let's talk about the bugs and bug fixes. If you want to check the full list of resolved issues and known issues in iOS 26 beta 3, I will leave the release notes link in the description to go through it yourself. But I would like to also mention one bug and one fix I did experience myself. The first thing is the share sheet animation. It's now fixed with beta 3. Previously, it was very laggy, but as you see, it's currently smooth. And also, there is an issue I did experience under the switch control. When I go to recipes and tap on lunch recipe, the feature doesn't work. Now, let's end this video by talking about the performance and battery. After installing beta 3, the phone didn't get as warm while filming this video like it did while recording the previous videos of beta 1 and beta 2, so you are certainly getting a much better performance and responsiveness, but it's not perfect, especially when you compare it to the stable version of iOS 18. The phone is still warmer than expected, but not as bad as beta 1 and beta 2. Also, when you try to change the wallpaper, that's the worst thing you can do on this phone right now. It becomes much warmer than expected, even though I'm just doing a very simple task. But when I do it multiple times, the phone becomes very warm when I change multiple wallpapers back to back. Other than this, all the glitches and bugs I came across while filming this video are minor and I think you can use the phone normally after installing iOS 26 beta 3. When it comes to the battery, I think beta 3 is far from the stable version of iOS 18. I started to film this video at 2.07 a.m. and now it's 5.10, which is almost three hours. I don't have any SIM card inside the phone. I'm connected to Wi-Fi and the display brightness is very low and the auto brightness is turned off. So I have it consistently on this brightness level. I lost 30% battery because I started this video at 71% and now I'm at 41%. I didn't do anything major. I just navigated, I was navigating the menus to show you the new features and that's pretty much it. So I don't think the battery life is great even after improving the performance. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new features in iOS 26 beta 3. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.